Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go over some accessories that I have for playing saxophone. Whether you are new or very experienced, it won't matter. So let's just get straight to it. Here, I got this off of Amazon. This is just a reed case. I like that this is breathable. When I close this up, I usually do leave this open just so my reeds can actually dry out. You can fit 12 in here. As you can see, I put some reeds here. This is a clarinet reed. So you can fit soprano, alto, tenor, bass clarinet reeds in here. Anything longer than this, I think is gonna be too big. So Barry Sachs, probably not for this, but it's very clearly labeled when you go to get one, what kind you should get to fit the kind of reeds that you use. So this one can store 12 in the little uh, pouch things here. And it's got this little gated net thing here if you want to store some more stuff. When I put my reeds in here, I like to take one of these spray bottles. You can pick this up at the dollar store. You can also pick up some hydrogen peroxide at that same dollar store. I put some hydrogen peroxide in here. I just spray my reeds, put them in the little reed container. This is a Van Dorn one. This is one of the Rico ones here. Just spray it, shake off the excess, put it in this little plastic container here, put it in here, and then let that air dry and sanitize. Hydrogen peroxide is a fantastic sanitizer. Speaking of sanitization, this is just one of these kits that you can pick up off of Amazon or whatever your music store is. And inside you have the mouthpiece cleaner, Please use this thing. I have seen some nasty mouthpieces. You can get one of these cloths here to wipe up any excess moisture or spit that may have drizzled onto your instrument. It also has some other stuff. I think I paid uh, around $14 for something like this. This toothbrush is fantastic. This is something that you can clean your neck out with. You also have a very long saxophone swab. I'm not a fan of those long fuzzy things that you can use. It just leaves little pieces of lint and stuff all over the place. And that is a disaster. You also want to make sure that you clean the neck of your saxophone. You can greatly improve the performance of your musical instrument simply by just keeping things clean. Let's take a look at the saxophone. So this is the infamous E flat key on your E flat alto saxophone. This key is an absolute disaster in the way that it sits, not just in the case, but the way that it's just designed. Every alto saxophone I've ever owned or played on has had this problem this key being an absolute disaster. So having those swabs and whatnot really, really makes it convenient to be able to keep that pad clean and dry. Okay, let's move on. Now, I wanted to show you guys this. You can see this is a USB-C to USB-B. This is the kind that would go to old printers before they all went wireless. But this can connect to your preamp, your interface here. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, this does not work on all of them. Uh, I have about four or five of these, and it only works on two of them, but I'll show you this. Basically, you just plug this thing in, and then you can plug this into your phone. A lot of phones nowadays, they don't have the headphone jack, but you can actually use professional interface like this one, it's got the XLR, and then you can get stereo left and right. If I only use one microphone, I only get one thing through one channel. So recently, I've just been using two microphones. Which microphones? I have an AKG, I think it's the 2050. I've had that thing for about 15, wow, about 15 years, but I just picked up this blue microphone here. So as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, I got the blue spark the blackout sl edition costs around 200 bucks i think it's only just cosmetic with the whole black microphone thing but i've been using that with the uh the 2050 microphone okay i'm not sponsored or endorsed by any of these companies but i did pick this thing up this is very nice this costs around 200 dollars, and the akg 2050 is also around 200 dollars 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I am making a phenomenal amount of progress on the Alto Sax Altissimo book. That's coming along quite nicely. I want to have that finished within the next couple of weeks, definitely before July is out. Uh, I'm also hard at work on my saxophone tone production book, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be my main big book, the big seller, that uh, is going to pretty much encompass all the saxophones. I'm going to make the book pretty specific toward soprano, alto, tenor, and barry. Those are obviously the big ones. So uh, you guys are going to enjoy having that in your arsenal of saxophone repertoire to have. Okay. I'm also looking at putting some stuff on Spotify because a lot of you have been asking me about the music that I do with all the stuff, all the background stuff. I want to be able to get that stuff out. Uh, I don't know how soon I'll be able to get all of that going, but I want to make sure that it's all mixed and mastered properly so that way you guys can hear it the way I'm hearing it through my headphones. I want to get this stuff out there and available to you guys as soon as possible, obviously because I have this new Allure uh, Chicago alto saxophone. I'm going to be bringing you much more alto content, clarinet stuff, flute stuff, soprano. I want to get a berry going on pretty soon. So hopefully with the sale of these books, your subscription, hitting like, I'll be able to put all this stuff together for you guys. So this has been a lot of fun and I like to make sure that you guys are up to speed on what's going on with me and then I can bring you the kind of content that you want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. See ya.